So I didn't manage to capture all of the game. But just note at this point, I'm two, ten, I'm two gens down. I've got two stacks of plenty of food. I'm just trying to stalk everyone. Obviously without hitting them. And get up to tier three. So I've got two ultra rare add-ons that give me a limited tier three. And obviously due this tombstone piece. So it allows me to kill healthy survivors. Now I'm three gens down. Really, I only want to lose like one or two gens and get this done. So I'm starting to panic a little bit. But as you know, if you're a good Myers killer and your team makes a mistake, you can demolish them all. This was just a bit tricky because I had to get closer to grab them. You know, every time I hit them, I lose a stack of play with your food as well. Quite surprised I managed to do this on the corn map. So corn blindness is real. <laughs> I was hoping she wouldn't see me there, but I suppose it wasn't still the greatest spot. Yeah, we've already gone past, so I'm going to start chasing her. She's my obsession. So I'm stuck her up. I'm trying to lose her so I get my stack. I'm 99 here and I go to walk away and then I realise I could just pop it on her. It doesn't matter. I've got unlimited tier 3, so continue chasing. Insidious comes in. So what I do is go and find somewhere to hide. Let Insidious kick in so I've got no terror radius. And hopefully the teammates will come and pick her up. I think we'll decide to check this generator. <laughs> some scratch marks but again the corn chase is initiated but I don't know I've still haven't seen it it's following the scratch marks and luckily she runs around to kill a shark and away from the corn so I've got no chance just been picked up. Which is good. I'm in tier 3 now. I'm able to kill him. If I can get close enough to get the grab. <coughs> Go for it. Not close enough. I'm down there. You know, I don't know if it's that or whether you need to like start the grab on him. Start the grab before they've started their window animation. Either way, I go back here and hide. Let the cities kick back in. That's one of the things that went in my favour. They were quite an altruistic team. So I knew they'd come and pick her up. Which they do. And pop out. Surprise them. Go for the one closest to me, which happens to be made. And get it. That's my first kill. And whispers really helped me. as much. Uh, I think it will be in the future. That 
That's a really strong loop there. I don't know why she didn't stay on that. And the gens just pops, so now we're down to our last gen now. She comes back to this loop. And I'm 50 50 of whether to commit or not. I can't really chase him anyway. I'm thinking in the back of my mind this could just be a distraction for them to go back and finish that gen. She's leading me away. Chasing. I did make quite a few mistakes in this, but I was quite lucky. Got quite a nice three gen set up there as well. Still on, so I know we're in this general area. <coughs> Whispers goes off, so immediately turn back around and start coming back towards the gens. So I know they've been working on this one like boat shack here. I think are they hiding in the basement? Surely not. Now they're no like. I've got a Maury. I'll check it anyway. There's some more failure skill check over there. But I'm thinking, is that a distraction so someone over here couldn't finish the gens? Because Whispers is still on in this area. So I'm looking. I hear someone. Probably the best survival in this group. Really good movement, as you can see here. Making me miss. I just don't know why she didn't use more of these loops here. That, I don't know what happened there. It's like she bent down to pick something up. That turned into a hit anyway. I hear a locker open there. So I go back and check the killer shack. still down. So I'll go back and hide again and let Insidious kick in and hopefully we'll pick both of them up. And I'm thinking mainly Laurie because I want my stacks back but it turned out I didn't know. I picked the other girl up. Waiting for Laurie. And after some time, I pick Laurie up as well. So that right. come out and look for them. I've started running straight away, which is smart. But I stayed and healed there. But I could have grabbed any one of them. You know, over Laurie's body, basically. I realise now they've run to the other side of the map back towards the gens. But at this point, like, I don't know why I was still looking. I mean, Whispers isn't on. Whispers pops in here. That's ruin popping. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to start doing gens now. There's some of them past me. She went straight into me because she was looking behind her. That's my second kill. Someone else is around here. It pops off, which means they're running back towards the other side of the map. 
I'm thinking towards this gen in the boat shack here since they've been working on that. I'm sure if Whispers comes back on. So check this loop again. This is a common noise you can spot there. Just sit outside the window. As soon as I leave, hop over. Start working on the chain. No one's there. Now Whispers is off. Yeah, I'm quite close to all three of these gems, so... Thinking... And it pops on here, so I'm thinking, oh, they've gone... Out to this part of the map for some reason. Someone else could be working on the last gen now. Simple mind game here, shooting straight into my arms. Uh. And that's three. But now I'm really starting to sweat because the hatch is just spawned. If they find it before me, then I'm screwed. for the hatch. I'm also watching for whispers to come on. I see this gen's been touched, so I'm kicking it. Okay, I'm looking. I actually find the hatch and the whispers still is in, so I know they're moving. So I'm thinking maybe they're camping near the gates. So I immediately start going towards this gate nearest to me. Whispers pops in. Thinking they're hiding close by or are they on the gate? And they're on the gate. I'm still sweating here because I need to get close enough to be able to grab a tummy shape. I mean, if I down them, I'm screwed. Luckily, that turn she did at last moment out and out. That's for so happy.